Hi, I'm Julian Grimm. It's getting warm in my room. I'm kind of sweaty. But I think you like it. Today I'm gonna talk about how to get your Ableton output into your live stream. So your live stream sounds like this. My mom is telling me to kill. Pretty cool, right? So the way that I do it is kind of specific but I'm gonna release other videos that can apply to other people. Today I'm gonna talk about using an Antelope audio interface, which is the one that I own. And then on the next video, I'm gonna talk about Loopback, which is a software that anyone can buy. It's kind of pricey. I have the demo in my computer and I'm gonna show you how to use that to do the same thing. But if you don't wanna spend any money and you already have an interface, I'm gonna show you a way that possibly can work with you by using physical connections. Let's start with this first video. And if you don't have an Antelope audio interface or you're not interested in it, just look for the other videos on my channel. So the interface that I own, it's called the Orion Studio Synergy Core. It's very big, it's very cool, and it has some features that are amazing for live streaming, and I'm not even joking. The first feature is the routing matrix. It's the best routing matrix I've ever seen on an interface. If you open the control panel right here, you can see, you can basically connect anything to anything. And at least with this interface, OBS is always listening to comp rec one and two, these ones right here. So whatever I wanna get out of Ableton into my live stream, I have to root to comp rec one and two. If I go to Ableton now, you can see that my master right here is going to one and two. And if I root, my comp play, which are the channels that Ableton sends audio to, into comp rec one and two, you can see right away if I open OBS and I make an audio input capture device, just call it Orion, choose my interface, you can see already the audio is getting there from Ableton into the interface. If I play the click, for example, There's the click from Ableton going into the interface. You wouldn't want that, but what's also cool about the Antelope Audio interface is that you can have multiple mixes. Instead of just doing comp play directly to comp rack, you can do comp play to mix channel one and two, and then have the mix one and two out going into comp rack one and two. That way, everything that comes out of mixer number one right here, it's gonna go to the live stream. I can use all these other mixes for other things. So I can have again, comp play, which is the Ableton output going into mix two, channel one and two. And then I can have three and four going into three and four of mix two. And now that means if I change my click output here, which is the Q out, to three and four, nobody in my live stream is gonna listen to my click, but if I go back into the control panel and I root the output from the mix two into my headphones, right here, headphones one and two, I'm gonna be able to listen to the click only in my ears and nobody in my live stream is gonna be able to listen to the click. So I'm gonna have full notion of the timing of my songs. I'm gonna be able to have gaps and pauses and still know where I am while my audience is only listening to complete silence. My audience only listens to what I want them to listen and I listen to whatever I need to listen. So that is very cool, right? But continuing, another awesome feature that this interface has is a talkback button feature. And I'm gonna show you, it, there's a physical one on the unit as well. I'm gonna show you a picture of that right now, but there's also a button right here that you can press. You see, talkback right here. And if I have somebody performing in another room, for example, like I did with my wife today, she was performing in the living room and I was here in my studio controlling her live stream. So I could actually press this button and talk to her and nobody in the live stream would listen and I could give her tips of where to go next or what was going on in the live stream that she wasn't seeing or anything like that. All you gotta do is go into the settings here in the control panel and turn the talkback to whatever headphone you want it to go. And that talkback is only gonna go 
to the headphones. It's not gonna go into your stream or into your other mixes. Basically feels like you're in a TV show because I was here controlling the computer, the live stream, recording the sound, mixing everything. I was controlling things on my push controller. She was completely alone in the living room, but I could still talk to her because she had her in-ears on where she was listening to all the backing tracks, the click and my talk back whenever I needed to tell her something. So that's why I think the Antelope audio interfaces have a lot of advantages over other normal interfaces when it comes to live streaming. I have nothing to complain about, but I do understand they are quite expensive. If you want other ways to do this, I'm going to do a follow up video now showing you loopback and another follow up video showing the physical method of doing the same exact thing. Some of the features are not going to be there, like the talkback or the multiple mixes, but still it works. If you like what I do and you want to know when the next video comes out, please subscribe to my channel if you want and press all the buttons that help me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.